The New York Stock Exchange took another pounding this morning. General Motors was down five points. Standard Oil off five and a quarter. Procter & Gamble was down six. The market has been going down more and more, and not one European country has sent even a get well card. And not one country came to America's aid when many of its professional ball clubs was losing thousands of dollars every day. Well, this is one European who thinks it's time to speak up for the US. Come on, let's hear it. Where else but in America can you get the same great hamburger thousands of miles apart from one another? And the same goes for the fries. You know, when you think of England, you think of fish and chips. When you think of Japan, you think of raw fish. When you think of Iceland, you think of a cod fish. But when you think of America, you think of hamburgers. And everyone knows that hamburger is better than a fish any day, that's for sure. Otherwise, why wouldn't God ever put the fish on land instead of the ocean where it's so hard to get? Christopher Columbus found this country for Spain, but when there was a blackout on your east coast in 1965, did Spain even send over one candle? I answer that question myself, no. And when America was having riots in Grant Park in Chicago in 1968, did your Canadian neighbors send help? No. Those brave Chicago policemen had to beat up all of those young people all by themselves. I was there. I saw it. After this thing is all over, you should say nuts to Canada. And why don't you say nuts to Sweden too? Who do they think they are telling you not to bomb somebody? If they ever get into a war, America has the right to say, if you're so smart, why isn't there a Swedish flag on the moon? All they ever gave the world besides complaints was meatballs, and I'll bet you'll find they was even made from American cows besides. I'm telling you. The only thing the rest of the world ever gave America was the flu. You've had the London flu, you've had the Hong Kong flu. But did America ever give the world the Detroit flu? No. Did you ever give the world the Trenton flu? No. There is no American flu except Lindbergh. Then after he did, all they did was copy him. And where is Mexico now that Lake Erie is polluted? Where are their pesos now? And finally, when Vietnam had the Civil War, America sent over thousands of men to help. But when the United States had its Civil War, Vietnam didn't even send one single soldier. Don't take my word for it. You can look it up yourself. It lasted four years and they didn't send one soldier to help.